These are two campaign tables by Drew and Sons of Piccadilly Circus, London. And uh, Drew were very good makers of luggage. They started in 1844, but soon realized um, that they could expand their market into campaign and travel furniture. Like a lot of luggage makers did, uh, J.W. Allen being a prime example, of course, but also John Pound. And they produced a number of different items of campaign furniture. We've seen chests before by them, um, tables, but we've never had this design of table in over 20 years of dealing in campaign furniture. So to get two um, at the same time is really quite uh, extraordinary. And it's great to be able to compare them because they are different sizes. So we know that they offered the model in at least two sizes, it may have been three, but also um, the quality of the timber of the legs on this smaller example, although good, is nowhere near as good as the quality of timber on this larger example. So that suggests that maybe they also uh, not only offered a variety of sizes, but a variety of qualities so that they could try and suit <coughs> excuse me every pocket and as you can see the table really does fold down very neatly and is very compact um, other differences is that this smaller one has got an inset ivorine plaque to it which hopefully you can get a good view of there. Whereas this larger one has got the name stamped to the brass on the edge there, where it also says the patent number, which I believe is 14010. Now, not only does the table fold down very neatly, but it also doubles in size. And uh, if we open this one flap, we can see that they've used three very strong hinges to operate it. But in doing this, we can also see how much the timber has faded to the outside. So that's more like the original colour. And this is being exposed to the light more, and we can really see a difference in the colour of the top. So we can double the top in size very neatly like that. To fold the table, we simply push in these stay arms. And the legs are made as pairs and the one set uh, have got a narrower width than the other so that they fold within each other and sit very neatly when folded like that. Um, and when packed down, this probably would have gone into a canvas or a leather case for travel. And uh, set it up again. We can very simply go like that. Push out the hinges so they lock. And there we go. So we said that, Luke, that uh, Drew and Sons uh, were mainly luggage makers. Um, and here's an example of a leather cased flask that they also made with a silver top. And if I just come in there, you can see there's another example of a Drew and Son label. So to sum up, Two tables to the same design by Drew and Son of Piccadilly, made in mahogany, <coughs> excuse me, around about 1900 in date. Um, and a good maker. You know, if you see anything by Drew, then normally it's going to be quite good quality and something you should take a closer look at.